Hey, my oil lab, welcome. If you're new, my name is Dr. Jeff. This is my wife, Megan, and we're excited you're here. Today's lavender, and we've got a powerful story for you. Um, we're gonna show the pictures here, but this is Kayla. She was about four months old when this occurred, but she was uh, in the sink with the water running, getting ready for the bath. Her older sister, Gianna, was in the bathtub. Gianna turned the water off in the bathtub, and a rush of scalding hot water went into the sink. And you can see this was uh, a, between a second and third degree burn on Kayla's leg. Katie, her mom, rushed to the emergency room. Doctor said second to third degree burn. They gave her an antibiotic steroid cream to put on it. Uh, Katie threw away the cream when she found out that it was a steroid cream, an antibiotic cream, and called us and said, what do I use? This is what just happened. And we recommended lavender as one of the first oils to apply, and then melaleuca and frankincense. But we're going to stick to why lavender for this video picture is a week later. And this final picture is two weeks later. And as you can see, there's no scarring. There's no disfiguration. And that was one of Katie's biggest concerns with Kayla was that there was going to be permanent scarring, permanent disfigurement, which typically occurs with a second and third degree burn, but not when you use oils. Lavender was the oil that helped with the sting, the burn, the discomfort. Melaleuca is the oil that helped with preventing any type of infection. And then frankincense helped with the cellular healing and repair. So they did three drops of each of these oils three times a day mixed with fractionated coconut oil and the wound healed beautifully. And of course, well, Katie is our nanny for Mila and it loves oils, uses them on our entire family. And this was just a wonderful, wonderful story. So lavender is the essential oil. I call the fix-it oil. If your kid falls, scrapes their knees, falls off their bikes, running too fast, lavender essential oil. If there's a bee sting for anybody, lavender essential oil. If there is a mosquito bite, lavender. If you're going camping, bring lavender. If you suffer from seasonal threats, if you have a scratchy throat, your eyes are itchy and watery, use lavender essential oil. We have it with us everywhere we go. And I'm going to tell you that somebody always needs lavender, mm -hmm. no matter where you are, what you're doing. It's lavender. The chemistry of lavender is why we call it the Swiss army knife of essential oils. And the signature effect is calming our body, calming our mind. Lavender does that through a mechanism of modulating NMDA receptors in our brain. You don't need to know this, but what that does is create a sense of calmness that comes from our brain down our spinal cord over our nerves to every cell, every tissue, every organ in our body, which creates an incredibly calming sensation when we use lavender. The second study, which is preliminary, we need more studies to really dial this in, but it's looking like lavender inhibits the reuptake of serotonin in our brain, which of course there are SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, which are pharmaceuticals, mostly for depression and anxiety, However, preliminary studies are showing that lavender has that effect as well. So when we're feeling anxious feelings, when we're feeling depressed like feelings, we can use lavender and it really promotes calm, relaxation, but also a very restful sleep. So it's a wonderful oil to use at night as well. Now, lavender also encourages emotional honesty. Mm. So all the thoughts, feelings that you're hiding, you necessarily don't want to tell your loved one or you don't know how to express them. When you use lavender essential oil, it is going to help open up that communication for you. It's going to help all those deep thoughts, those deep feelings. You're going to be able to communicate them more efficiently, giving yourself peace of mind, which we do all need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wonderful oil, you guys. I'm sure most of you have experienced lavender, but please let us know your favorite way to use it. Let In the comment section, let us know your favorite way to use lavender. Like this video, share it. Uh, we love you guys. And if you haven't downloaded our free ebook, go to the website, myoillab.com, put your email in, get the ebook. You can also get the A to Z videos, all of these videos transcribed in your inbox, and you can subscribe on our website as well. We'll talk to you guys soon. See you next time.